What's up guys? Last weekend I called one of my dear friends to wish him happy birthday but instead of being happy he sounded pretty sad when I asked the reason the reason was exactly the same that might be troubling a lot of you people as well he was actually sad because his CRS cutoff score was actually 469 and he was really hopeful that he would get the ITA anytime soon and he had really high hopes with that last draw that was conducted because probably that was his best chance in the last one year he could get the ITA in that draw but you know what happened the draw actually was conducted after a gap of three weeks and hence the cutoff score went really up to 478 now because that one year got added to his age now his cutoff score has gone down by five points is somewhere around 464 now and he was feeling like quitting this Canadian dream forever. Now this video is not about my friend but about that feeling of quitting your Canadian dream. So I've seen many posts in the Facebook group in the last few days as well that many people feel that because of the high cut of scores, because of the new rules that have been implemented, you should quit your Canadian dream. You will actually never be able to land in Canada, or, you know, you'll never be able to settle here. So this video is to all of those people who think that you should quit your Canadian dream now. If you're interested, stay tuned. Alright guys, so let's begin our discussion. So when in the month of March, April, May, this COVID thing started, everything else started to change. Millions of jobs were lost around the world and Canada was no exception. IRCC stopped conducting the all program draws and they were only conducting the PNP and CEC specific draws. You know all of that and then what happened was that many people were thinking that is the Canadian dream over now. They were thinking that Canada will only be able to give jobs to those unemployed people and you know the new immigrants will not be their priority i made this video back then when i told that things will improve significantly and things have improved a lot already by now also the covid 19 cases were going down every month but since the start of the second wave that is from august september october even when the covid 19 cases are rising people are actually getting new jobs just in the last three months, close to 500,000 people have got the jobs back. And on top of it, Canada has also announced that they would be actually getting 1.2 million immigrants in the next three years. Which means that the hopes are still high. I said it back then that the hopes should remain high and I'm saying it now that the hopes should remain high. To practice and get good bands in IELTS, you might have missed booze parties or that trip with your friends. Even to get the transcript, you might have struggled a bit. So all those struggles, all that hard work, will that go in vain? Will you give up so easily? Giving up is not an option, guys. If you feel that you are about to give up, I would suggest don't give up. If your conviction is strong enough, look for other options. We'll talk about the other options later in this video. Alright guys, I totally understand that you have already invested a lot of time, efforts, money and attention into your Canadian dream. Just to get into the express entry pool, you cleared your education assessment. You might have appeared for IELTS multiple times to get your desired band. All of that takes a lot of time doing the research itself takes a lot of time so when you see that you are nowhere close to getting the ITA you are nowhere close to the CRS cutoff score you get a lot disappointed and you feel like quitting your Canadian dream so I'll talk to different categories of people number one all those people who are you know above 480s I'm pretty sure you are the most happiest ones because you know that you'll get the ITA very very soon maybe in the next draw itself for sure now all of those people who are there in their 470s I've seen posts of people who are there at 471 472 getting disappointed that the cutoff score actually went up to 478 and 
will they actually get the ITA? Rest assured, you would get the ITA in the upcoming draws for sure. It might take, you know, one or two months, but it would definitely go, go down to 470 in the upcoming draws, maybe towards the last of this year or maybe towards the starting of the next year, but you'll get the ITA for sure. Now, all of those people who are there in their 460s and waiting to get the ITA, they were really eager when it actually came, came down to 471. They thought that, okay, now finally, they have their chance and they could get the ITA in any draw, but it went up. So you got disappointed. And just like my friend, your birthday might be very near and you might be scared that, okay, what would happen when your five points get reduced? So you're very upset, I understand that. Now, when we talk of 460s, it's a big score range. There would be thousands of people sitting at one single point. So if we talk of 464, there might be 2000 people having the same score. So obviously, the people who are there at the early 460s would have lesser chance and the people who are there at the, you know, 468, 469 would have their, uh, would have better chance, right? Now, all of those people who are there in the early 460s and who might be scared that, okay, the cutoff score has not gone down in the last one year. Even if the cutoff score actually goes down, I don't see it going down below 465. I know that's the best case scenario. So all those people in early 460s or maybe in uh, 450s, what should you do? Now, all those people, you should really be hopeful you should really be optimistic, but at the same time, it's really important to be realistic as well. So all of those people, you should try thinking of immigrating to Canada. If that is your ultimate dream, you should try different ways. You should try the PNP options. If that is not working for you, I would suggest that many of you could try to immigrate to Canada through the student visa route. I'll try to create another video on it, a detailed video, but you should definitely think of that. Okay, I know that for many people, it might be very difficult to think about that route that they would start studying again. Maybe they've already done their masters, so what should they study now? But if your conviction is strong enough and if your chances of getting the ITA through the regular express entry process are quite low, I would definitely suggest you considering that option. That is the suggestion or the recommendation that I gave to my dear friend and that is the suggestion that I'll try to give to most of you guys as well who think that there are very less chances. Obviously, the pool considers of people who have the express entry scores starting from 300 from uh, you know around 450. So all of those people from 300 to 460 maybe, I would suggest that you should start thinking of other options. Again, I would say the same thing. It's good to be hopeful. It's good to be optimistic, but at the same time, you should be realistic as well. If I was talking about 2018 and you were sitting at 450s, I would say that you have great chances of getting the ITA, but starting 2020, and stepping into 2021, all those people who are there in their 450s or even lower, getting the ITA through the normal express entry draw, I think it is a false hope now. So I would suggest that all of those people should definitely think of some other routes. If you are able to get a PNP nomination, nothing better, but yes, if you're not able to get into Canada through that route, you should think of different options and studying is definitely one of those options. Guys, I don't want to demotivate anyone, but at the same time, I want to open your eyes to what is the current situation at the moment. According to the new changes that have been made, people will have more scores, not people from India or you know Asia, maybe people from Europe, there will be some people for sure who have better friend skills, would have more scores and the competition level would be even higher. So if your conviction is so strong, you can also try learning French. That is a really, really good option. Maybe you could think of going for a higher education, if not in Canada, maybe in your home country to get more points. 
I actually used to think that who would actually go up to that level, who would have that kind of dedication to study one year just for getting the PR of Canada. But yes, now after making these videos for two and a half years and after meeting so many people, I know that people are determined. So if your conviction is so strong, then you can think of all of these options. You know, maybe studying French, maybe moving to Canada with a study visa. Maybe you could think of getting your higher education done, maybe getting your master's done. I wouldn't suggest PhD because it would take uh, probably three, four years. But yes, getting your master's done for one year, that is a possibility, right? So I would suggest that don't lose hope. All those people who are there in the, uh, you know, 460s, still it's good to be hopeful. But all those people who are below 460s or maybe in the early 460s, it's good to be realistic as well. Okay guys, so by now I'm pretty sure that you would have got my viewpoint. Quitting is not an option. You should definitely keep on trying. You never know how you can get lucky. Okay, so thanks a lot for watching this video guys. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up button. If you have any feedback, please put them down in the comment section below. And yes, if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, you know the deal. You have to click that subscribe button before moving on to the next video. Thanks again for watching this video.